My name is Anna, uh, and I was working for an organization called WitnessBahrain.org in uh, 2012 in May, April, and June, where I was in Bahrain following uh, medics who weren't allowed to treat the protestants when they were shot. Uh, so I've seen uh, how the people of Bahrain are fighting the regime who won't let them have their freedom of speech, who won't let them be part, take part of the taking decisions in the country. Uh, and I've seen the poverty that also goes on in the, in the villages. And I've seen the shootings of the Protestants and the torture that has happened to um, some of the people who are supporting the opposition. So I'm here to support uh, the Bahraini people in their fight for freedom and their fight for human rights. Well, I came to London because of a conference, uh, because of the 14th of February. Uh, so I was invited to talk a bit about my work in Bahrain, um, doing international presence. Because I think it's important that the people outside of Bahrain as well know what's going on. Because the Bahraini people can't make the revolution for themselves. They need help from outside as well. They need the international community to stop supporting the Bahraini regime. Um, well, I'm from Denmark uh, and I don't see the support of the Bahraini people in my country. Uh, really, well, it depends. Like, I see the pos politicians talking about human rights. Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja, who was hunger striking uh, for a long time and who was imprisoned, uh, he's a Danish citizen, and the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs was talking his case, but he wasn't really doing any action. So I don't see the support within the Danish government, unfortunately. So much.